Hey everyone, it is the dude. I am playing a legendary deck here. This is not all legendary, but it's pretty damn close. Uh, we've got Reno in there, so we've got to do just one of every card. Uh, but you can see here, we got a lot of stars in the deck. Uh, once we get past, what is it, three here, it's all stars. And people ask me, all, I, probably the most asked question is, dude, how come you don't play ranked, man? You should crush it in ranked. You got all the cards. I mean, come on, dude. Yeah, I could totally play ranked. I don't find a ton of fun in that. Um, I play Hearthstone to chill, to have a good time, and for me, I call these dumb decks. I like building dumb decks. They're uh, fun to play. Nobody has them, so no one's expecting you to come, you know, come across this, so that's kind of half fun. And... It's just, the win rate here is probably like a 40%. And again, people say, dude, why would you want to play a deck where you're only winning at like 40% of the time? Because when it's when it's running good, it's so fun. It's, re I mean, it's dumb. It's dumb fun. Thus the, thus the uh, why I like it. So I'm going to show it to you real quick here. This is the Raven Idol. You got to have something in the one slot. I, I didn't know what to stick in there. I stuck this in there. Usually I'll discover a minion and hope it's a two. Power of the Wild, yep. Yet again, you're more than likely going to be grabbing that Panther, the 3-2. You've got no minions, low. Uh-oh, nothing. Wild Growth, that's going to boost a buffer. Mm-hmm. Get yourself a little Wrath action. That's usually used for the three damage, but every now and again I'll grab myself a little card and use the one damage. I really like the Crypt Lord in this deck. Um, it just gives me a little bit of time. And more than likely, I'll be throwing in another card right after, so that's cool. Uh, Fajola Light Bane is in the house. Jade Blossom's good because it's going to give me a Jade Golem, and I'm going to gain that Mana Crystal. That's like a super needed here. Super needed. Arphis is in the house. you got to have him. Throws out the little stick, and then he goes and fetches it. That's super cool animation. Barnsey, pull me something huge, you crazy, crazy man. Uh, Elise, mm-hmm. She's going to bust the map out, but really, I like her just for her health. She's got five health, so she sticks around usually more than one turn. So I like that. Genzo, he can get me into trouble every now and again, but the card is, the graphics on that card are so sick and intense. I, I, that's one of my favorites. I think the animation's insanely cool, uh, but usually don't get to pop the draw until they have three cards. It usually doesn't work. Gormak the Impaler, no, I don't have four other minions on the board, but I do have a 4-4 now coming out, so that's cool. Big fan of that. We got Fuegan. If you're playing Fuegan, you got to play Stalic, so yep, got to toss both those in, because uh, you never know if you're going to get Thaddeus rushing out. You got Loth of the Mushroom Man. He's got a little mushroom there. It's kind of cool. Nexus Champion Sarad. I'm not sold on this card. You really can't play it till turn seven. And by then, it's usually you're usually moving on. So I'd, he'll probably get replaced at some point. I just don't know what with. Prince of Malkazar, he's in there. He's going to throw in five more legends for you, just you know, in case you didn't have enough. Then you got Stalag. The Fuegan Stalag show is in the mix. Kearney Bloodhoof, throw her in. Sure. Emperor Thorasam, let's reduce the cards by one. Reno, dude, he saved me a few times. So that's good. Let's scroll down and get the rest of these in here. So we got Reno. He's got to be in there. You got Sylvanas. That's cool stuff. Good, good sweet sauce. You got Black Knight. Little Dr. Boom and his Boomer Bots. Kel'Thuzad. Pure shenanigans. Ragnaros the Fire Lord. Always nice when uh, Barnsey pulls that out. Lich King, too. If Barnes pulls Lich, those are two of my favorites um, by far. Alex Straza, mm -hmm. little heel. Deathwing, a little board clear on aisle one. Kun, the Forgotten King, you're going to refresh your mana crystals. Almost guaranteed. But every now and again, you need the 10 armor. And your Sarge Rage Unbound. All right, let's give it a spin. I've talked it up enough. Let's go. Let's show you how this rolls. This is no, there are, this is no astral. We are ready to go. So this is not an astral version. Uh, Astral's been just treating me so bad lately, I decided, you know what, we're going to bypass you. We're going to take those four cards out, the Innervates and the two Astrals, and put in some little Legends and see what we do. <clears throat> but then I changed the whole deck. So the whole dynamic has changed. 
but it is a ton of fun. <clears throat> Going skiing on Friday. Super pumped about that. Today's Wednesday. Two, I got two days to go. It's going to start uh, raining here. And it's snowing in the mountains tonight. And all the way through Friday, so it's going to be good. Going to go get some powder. Must be preserved. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this. It's just dumb. I should almost keep a five here, but I hate that they never give me the coin. They, like, never give me the coin. If I play one of these brutal decks, they don't want me coming out. They want me to suffer. They're like, dude, if you're going to play, play nut decks, then you better have all the luck in the world. Because you're going to need it. Right? I got a four and a six. Ooh, sketchy! Just the way we like it. Super sketch, starting from the bottom, working our way up. I mean, I just like dumb decks. Maybe that makes me dumb, right? Because I like dumb decks, so that makes me dumb. I know I've played this cat before, Godzilla. Unless that's a generic name. And he's good. See, little gold wall growth. I, I, I aim to please, folks. I aim to please. The scourge will devour all. Scourge is going to devour all. Do we pull Genzo or Elise? What's it going to be? What's Genzo? Genzo's a 5-4 and Elise is a 3-5. So it looks like Do Genzo it is. It looks like Genzo it is. Oh, but now he's drawn thin. So Genzo would potentially Are give him a card. A okay. Yes, indeedy. Cthuni making a comeback. Pick a card. Find a ride. Pick a card. Any card you want from Genzo. The shark. He's good. Yes, I see the four. That doesn't get through with that one, though. But you can use your other one. But I like that you pointed to this guy. No, because he's not, he's not working for you. I don't think he's doing as much for you as you thought he was. But that's cool. Everyone has their own, their own thing, All man. You know. So he may play the four-one again, and take down the board. Not sure. Did he play that wrong? Oh, I was gonna say, dude, you're crazy. Oh, did you want to come up and over? You will come up and over. So he must be holding. Um, his big old uh, Cthuner. Well, I don't think he'd go so hard. But maybe he would. We could four button here. Well, I think the six is better. And let him keep building up his Cthune. Because we're going to keep going face and hope to beat him by ten. That's our game plan. Cthune. Cthune. Yep. Cthune. Okay, that's worthy. I got that all day long on aisle one. Cthune is mine. That's not so good. Okay, we were doing just fine until that came out. But should we play the spell here? Should we play this here? I think that is the answer. Yeah, I think so. And just take it and then take it. And that's not bad. That's not bad. So let's see where he throws his 4-2. I assume he's going to take it into, um, into this right here. Kearney Bloodhoof. Oh, that's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. We were waiting all day for this, right? Been waiting all day for that. This is good too. We're gonna overload for one, so we won't be able to. Um... Oh no, we will. So this will be great here. None. This is why we play these kind of decks. I mean, they're just really fun. I mean, they're really fun. He had his chance, folks. We gave him a chance. So we got 12. We got 13 damage potentially with the eight Ragnaros, though. We could kill him. Let's see how this turns out. Does he have a way to get his Cthune out? No, but he has another one of those. That's not very fun. It's not very fun. But this will be good. Watch watch this. This will be good. Oh, this will be really good. Yeah, this will be really good. So we'll go here. Does he kill it? Yeah, good. Okay, that's what we wanted. So we'll go there. We'll go there. We'll go here. We'll go here. And then we'll take a seat. We'll take a seat. So his big old Cthune is coming. Hopefully it does more damage to these guys over here and leaves this guy alone. But let's see what happens here. Who does he get? Who does he get? Okay. All right. Okay. So we're doing great here. 
We're doing really good. We could either we could we could pretty much grab our ten, but I think he doesn't have Cthulhu or he would have played it. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I may really go full bore. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. All right. So we're good here. He's gonna stall because he knows he's dead. But that's cool. That was a fun game. See, this is why we play. This is why we play the games that we play. Because he was a really good competitor, right? He, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but he wasn't easy. You know, now he's all rope burning like a little, a little weasel. Anybody who plays like this, please go shoot yourself. I'm just kidding, but, um, I mean, why do you even play if you're going to be this, this much of a baby, right? Did you go cry to your mommy? Are you crying right now to your mommy over a match that means nothing? People like you are hilarious. You make me laugh. You do. You do. You make me laugh a lot. Oh, enjoy the ride, bro. Hope you're having a good one. Pray for mercy. You'll need it. Who's coming out to play? Oh, a little crow magus. There we go. That's a nice looking board, folks. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Yeah, I think he left a little while ago. Good luck out there as always. We'll see you next time.